Uh, hey, Elliot. Oh, dog man. Hey. Wait. Your hair, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. <laughs> nice balloon. Uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Oh, do I let Elliot know? No, he's gonna freak out. Look, she's keeping it private. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. Dude, you've got hot dog, man. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. I'll see you later, man. Are you... Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I'll keep you posted, man. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? What so of it? What? Yeah. So, obviously, something is going on. Why are you being so pushy, man? Look, dude, it's really okay. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Sleazy. Anyway. See you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Why she press up? Is the uh, is the hospital in the basement? I'll be back. First, I'm just gonna snoop in your house a little. And of course, Chloe's got the car now. Everything's fine. Everything's perfectly fine. Hello? Hello? I knew it. What is with what is with the people of America and they do that? Like they go, go into a, a, like they open up a door and say, Hello? Is anybody home? Armed. Disarmed. Chloe, close the fucking front door. DA's office. Oh, well, that's not my I phone. I need to search this office for any communicate. Okay. Can we close the front door? Crime Katie man. Katie obeys, least wanted. Crime report. Um, incident assault. Reporting officer, Doc, uh, Sergeant Alex Keller. Batch 512, 521. Named Damon Merrick, age 31. Six foot three, uh, weighs 180 pounds. His hair is brown, his eyes are brown. Or he's a bro. Can <laughs> I get it? Bro? No? Alright, anyway. Aggra aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. 
uh, 12th of April. Allegations, uh, place of uh, occurrence, Tumnus Lumber. That's the mill, right? After a verbal uh, altercation with the victim, Merrick brandishes a fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 10.21 p.m. and an officer arrived on the scene at 10.38 p.m. with EMT. The victim was taken to a hospital. A bystander who requested to remain anonymous named Damon Merrick as the assailant. Uh, what's up, Max? Don't think you can know how you feel about someone until you almost lose them. Until you sit in the hospital room, frozen in place, yet somehow falling, silently to desperately pleading to hear their voice, touch their hand, make them laugh. Then you know. It's weird being with Rachel's dad, and actually, kinda nice. We were on the same team suddenly. None of the other shit mattered. All I can see is why Rachel loves him. Oh my god, look at that that poster of Rachel on the side. Uh, got to check in on Drew. Spent some time with him, Mikey. I even cheered Drew up by, st by stealing his pudding. Win-win. After what felt like forever, Rachel woke up. Even with everything that's happened, she's still focused on finding her mother. And you know what? So I'm I so I am too. Is it shouldn't it be so in my It's realistic writing. Here's the plan. I'm gonna dig around James's office, find whatever I can about her, track her down so they can meet. I don't care how tough it might be. Chloe, bounty hunter. For do I dare? What do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. It's fucking Damon's glove and knife. I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Best dad? Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Oh? Huh? Hmm. I'll do that later. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. I also focus on what I need to vandalize. I love how Chloe goes <laughs> nuts when she it's shakes it. The big one. Like Chloe goes nuts when she shakes this. Right, file. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? It's, a, it's like tied to, um, what, like, what's his face? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> James sure keeps lots of files on people. I already know what it is. You're gonna have to get... Uh, the key from the best data award. Fucking graffiti that. What are you doing? Secret boot stash. Is that the DA's office? Do, have I got that out of the way? Oh yeah. Sherry. More Sherry. Look. <sighs> uh, Let's use his computer. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Her, she's got her own email address. James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry. But I understand you, your need to protect her. But it's your pre prerogative? I guess. As a parent. But sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me, you're losing the moral high ground here. 
uh, what kind of a way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyers I spoke with agree. More importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do what you know is right. Got an email. All right. In his ass. It's a key for the for the right drawer. This is satisfying pop. Sweet. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Hey Chloe, thanks for visiting. No problem, man. Yeah. I hope so. Key, don't fail me now. Hmm. Welcome to Shadyville. All right. A phone. I see the phone already. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Oh my goodness. There's so much. I told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found out who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this is a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. For me, I can't. Sure you can. I've talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not easy. We're going to need uh, to be more hands-on. Relax, I got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You should really teach her to behave better. Oh, oh this was all in the afternoon as well. She's talking to date. He's talking to Damon. And then this is. Oh my god. James I, is working with Damon Merrick? Fucking knew it. This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on. I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? Where is Sarah? Shit. What do I say? You first. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. There Unless you. I send him. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? This, isn't it? Because I read the report, it said with the glove. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. No? Has to be in the office, huh? Are you fucking kidding me, Chloe? In the house? Aha! Causing another fire. 
Fire alarm's gonna go off. Oof. Better not touch that again. No clue. No more. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. Well... So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office just Arcadia Bay's least wanted. So the vic so the bystander who wished to remain anonymous, huh? Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? To That's so messed up. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah, and I am your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I have been battling with ever since. That battle has taken everything from me, most importantly, you. But now I am in a place where I know I can be part of your life. It is more than I deserve, I know, but I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time, and if you have anything to say or any questions, hearing from you would mean the world. Dearest Rachel, I hope every it's alright for me to write to you again. I haven't heard from you yet, and that's okay. It really is. I just... I, I feel like I have so much to catch up on, you know? I don't remember much of my life. It's a symptom from the choices I made. So much is lost. Except you. I remember everything about you. The crinkle of your nose, the depth of your eyes. I, the knowing smile that somehow made it like seem like you've seen it all before. I can call it whatever I want as a clear... I can call it like whatever I want as clear as a summer's day. I was so afraid. Afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you. That I would screw up the way I, I screwed up so much of my life. Now, I know, of course, that my fear was wrong. Far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. I'm sorry if you can find the courage to forgive me. Maybe we can start over. I want to. With all of my might, I want to. Oh, she's really trying, isn't she? Oh, so many of them. Read somewhere that maybe read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never stop in the same river twice. Because after it moves, it's not really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you know that you, do you think that's true? I try to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are, how it might seem to you. This mystery mother. I don't blame you for not writing back. You're right when you're ready. I imagine your dad's all still wary of this. That's okay. James is protective of you, just as I would be. But the life he knew, he, uh, the life he wanted to give you, I, I know it. But he's also the kind and compassionate person. That was the problem. Really, I wasn't cut out for him. Or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. I, knew, I know we can never have the same relationship we should have had but i hope we can have something new together i hope it's so much the sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person james told us about okay. last night this starts with i understand your reluctance so this looks like sarah stopped cashing the checks james sent her guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night james i understand your reluctance to let me speak to rachel but you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I've... 
I've done in the past year uh, has been to prove to you that I'm ready to be in Rachel's life. I've gone through rehab. I'm in recovery. I'm no longer in need of money or assistance. I know I can be a positive influence on her. I'm coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least discuss this. So you can see how... Oh, I'm gonna yawn. <sighs> oh, I'm playing this at like 4 in the morning. Okay. Uh, coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can meet to discuss this so you can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings left for me at all, you'll be willing to, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you, hopefully to Rachel too. Wow, but that's not fair though because it's um it's also uh James has been married to Rose for like 13 years now. A cease and desist for the per, uh, partial custody of Rachel Amber. Hmm. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Gerald Scott, huh? Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. He's been very cooperative, no missed check-ins. But... This I guy. agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. It's not Frank. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Show them his thunder. Wait, where's where's the where's the last file on thunder? Oh, there man. he is. This guy's the snitch. He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. No, he's the snitch. Uh, detained by Arcadia Bay in suspicion of drug trafficking, released after questioning by officer. Huh. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. Uh, Sheldon? Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Oh, fuck. Payment? Fuck. Uh, I'm... How much? Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. Computer? Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her- <sighs> Man, okay. this guy's the snitch. He was so cool to me at the mill. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Investigation. Whoa, fuck. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Fuck, that's Sarah. 
And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Finished a job? Let her go. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? You followed me? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? It's really to protect him. Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... take a step back. No! You need to what listen to me. What the fuck, What has man? your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. She saved me. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. She pulled me Stop. away. Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. I took the rep for her. It's my choice. There we go. <sighs> I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Piece of shit. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end. As usual. What exactly are you trying to say? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God. Oh, look. I I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough! Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you My like eyes this. are rolled all the way to the back of my head right now. Elliot, I, I promise. No one is manipulating me. Elliot, no? shut the fuck up. Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Dude, you are pushing this way too far. Dude, you... You know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. Dude, this is not how you confront things. What does that mean? 
It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once. Wow. This is a... This is a dilemma, isn't it? Elliot, you are acting way too crazy for me right now. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. What the fuck, man? Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Do we call for help? Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except what for me! What the fuck, man? We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. You are being 100% insane right now. Oh, you asshole. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. The DA lives here. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and... We should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. I see situation dangerous and realization. I feel threatened. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. I need help. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going in here. You are stunned. Hurry up. I Shit! need things to hurry up and get here now I fucked that You're up acting I... strange what's going on what nothing I what are you oh you bitch can't you see I just want to help you You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Take the money, take the phone. <laughs> 